to manage to sleep. A bit, yeah. You? No, not really. I kept thinking about Indra going off like this. Um, I should have expected it, really. Why? Well, I spent years telling her to be impulsive, live for the moment and have fun, instead of being so conservative. Well, she certainly started with a bang. Can you think of anywhere else we can try contacting her? I can't think of anywhere. The police said we should make sure we'd call around all of her friends before we start to panic, but I don't know who else to call. She'll turn up. There's no way she'll break my three-day record. Oh, he's a good boy, aren't you, Barry? Oh, I'm sorry the tip this spoon didn't work out for you. It's my fault I missed my plane. I don't think I'd have enjoyed it anyway. Why not? Well, Josh says that Nev and Suzanne have been arguing loads. Well, it sounds a bit grumpy in the phone. How's it? Where are you going? <laughs> Jack? Jack! Jack, come on! Oh, my God. Duncan, don't touch a thing! Please. Yeah. You have found a body. Probably a female. It's okay. When we've done these, we'll go straight to the police station, OK? No. India. Oh, I knew it. Stop, I've forgotten her key, silly cow. I want every dirty detail and I'll talk to you if I have to. Hi. I'm DC Ethan Scott, D Valley Police. This is Constable John Newbury. Well, I guess you better come in then. Please, uh, sit down. Why? What's going on? Miss Texas Longford. Uh, that's me. You have a sister. Miss India Longford. Yeah. I'm afraid I have some bad news. A woman fitting your sister's description has been found dead. <laughs> 